friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be talking about the top study resources for FPGE and how to exactly prepare for the exam and how to pass the exam in the first go. Let's go. If you're new here, my name is Afsha. I'm also a foreign graduate pharmacist and on this channel, I teach people how to pass TOEFL and FPGE exam with the maximum number of scores possible. I usually recommend to start studying for FPGE with these three important resources. Now, I know the exam is a very basic exam and, and there is an entire blueprint on the NABP website that guides you um, through what they throw you at the exam and what kind of questions are going to be there. Now, as far as the blueprint suggests, there is uh, clinical sciences that forms 35% of this exam but what I have seen from teaching students so far that um, clinical sciences is yes it, it does the blueprint does say that it forms 35% of the exam there are also other topics which are extremely extremely important to target and not just clinical sciences and I say this because I've been teaching students through my FPG master class with the success rate of 99.7% so yes do pay equal importance to clinical sciences part because it forms most of the exam portion but I absolutely do not mean to say ignore the other parts if you know you know hey quick word if you're feeling stressed and overwhelmed with your FPG preparation I've got something exciting for you this Black Friday I'm bundling up my FPG masterclass and FPG magic guide into one incredible deal for the very first time and at a price so good that you're going to regret saying no. Here's what you're gonna get. In the FPG Masterclass, you're gonna get handwritten notes by me, video lessons to teach you all the important topics that you need to be knowing for the exam, ebooks that you absolutely need to be studying from for the exam, place flashcards, QA sessions, and a study timetable to keep you on the track. Plus, you can email me any questions that you have and I will be replying to all those emails myself. FPG Magic Guide is packed with high yield content that you're most likely to see on the exam. This is a guide that basically summarizes all the preparation that you're doing in the FPG Masterclass. More content that is absolutely high yield on the exam. You're gonna get mnemonics, infographics, quizzes, and step-by-step -step strategies to make your study progress simple and effective. You that you're going to be getting out of FPG Masterclass and FPG Magic Guide is worth around $5,000. And the actual price is around $3,000 but, but the Black Friday deal is for Masterclass and FPG Magic Guide bundled up together for $7.99 plus by becoming a member of the FPG Masterclass you will get to receive emails from me time to time with high yield content that you're most likely to see on the actual exam day. Ask me why this bundle is a game changer. I have been in your shoes. I know how stressful and how time consuming it is to go through all those humongous books and figure out what to pay attention on and what to absolutely ignore or these online course programs charge so much extra upfront and then when you become a part of the program there are additional costs associated with it. And that is exactly why I created these resources to help you avoid all the trouble that I went through myself and make you focus on what's actually important for the exam. This Black Friday bundle, you will be able to save time by stop wasting time on irrelevant topics and materials, build your confidence with simple, easy to follow strategies, feel totally prepared to pass the FPG and take that next step in your life. It is only going to be available for 48 hours and I'm only taking 15 students at a time because that's what I can handle. Sign up to the link in the description box down below to get everything you need to pass the FPG exam in the first go next year. So number one resource would be pharmacology by Lippincott. And I see a lot of students asking me the question if it's okay to use Katzung and if it is important to do Lippincott. We have been taught uh, our whole life have we have um, learned from Katzung and now Lippincott is completely new to us. Yes, it is okay. It is completely fine to learn from Katzung as well. Both are the books for pharmacology. But I feel like Lippincott is more detailed and it targets the important aspects of pharmacology. So does Katzung, but Katzung is a little... Um, it's a little concluded, it's a little compact, but if you're somebody who have used Katzung or the, all their lives and uh, Lippincott is something very new to you, feel free to use Katzung, it doesn't really matter. You just have to make your pharmacology strong. That's all about it, that's that's all that matters. Number two resource would be CPR for Naplex. That's Comprehensive Pharmacy Review for Naplex. Now, I have a lot of students and a lot of people DM me on Instagram to, it's a book for Naplex, why would we use it for FPGE? And they reply to that is, yes, it's a book for Naplex, it is built for Naplex, but 
there are certain chapters, not all the chapters, certain chapters that are very important for FPG. And I say this because CPR is designed in such a beautiful way that it connects the dots between pharmacology and um, medicinal chemistry. And if you are somebody who have friends who, ha who have already taken the exam or you read those online forums on Reddit or Quora, you would know that they have started to throw a lot of medicinal chemistry on students because the drug structures are hard to remember and very few percentage of students end up answering those questions right, you need to be making your medicinal chemistry strong as well. And this is the reason I recommend um, CPR to my students, but certain chapters of the CPR, and again, that's an entirely different topic. I have other videos made on the channel, which will guide you through the process link somewhere over here and down in the description box down below. If you are somebody who is interested in taking the FPG exam, you can join my FPG masterclass. The enrollment is currently closed, but um, you are more welcome to join the waitlist by signing up to the link in the description box down below, and you will be notified via email whenever the enrollment opens. The third resource would be APHA and I know I've said this enough times in my other videos as well but this is a book that is made by the boards that make the FPG exam. Now I think this line is enough to emphasize the importance of um, the content that's going to be present in this book. So if you're somebody who haven't practiced uh, pharmacy over here in the US it is highly, highly, highly recommended that you read the entire book. It is a review book. It not, it's not a textbook, so it's not very huge, but it's, it's, it's a review book. It's meant to review um, certain areas of pharmacy practice, law, and ethics. And I know it doesn't form a very important, or not important, but a, a not a very um, percentage portion of the exam, but it's equally as important as other parts of the exam. And this is something that's coming from teaching students for a very long time and taking the exam myself. They just don't, they don't just give you pharmacology on the exam, okay? There is medicinal chemistry. This year there was a lot of biostatistics. The, there was a lot of pharmacy practice questions. So you want to be going in the exam hall fully prepared because it is a long exam. It's like, it's like 250 questions out of which certain questions are scored and certain are not scored. And you obviously won't know which ones are scored and which ones are not. So you need to be paying attention to every section of the exam in order to pass the exam because they're trying to now, it is a basic exam, but they're now trying to make it harder, making it harder because of the competition over here, you know. So APHA is very important, and if you're somebody who haven't practiced uh, pharmacy over here in the U.S., I highly, highly encourage you to start reading APHA, even if you haven't moved to U.S. right now, because it's going to help you so much. If you're somebody who is already practicing. Um, a pharmacy over here as a technician or a pharmacy assistant or whatnot, APHA could be very useful because half of the stuff you would already know and you would just have to review it. But again, don't don't skip on APHA at all. It's very, very important. Lastly, but not the least, would be Manan Shroff question and answers. Now, I see students asking me questions if these are the type of questions they see on the actual exam. The reply to that is no. Manan Shroff, in my view, is a little harder than the type of question you see on the exam. I have some past papers and sample questions in my FPG Masterclass link in the description box down below. If when you go through that question, those questions, you will know that the questions that the exam throws you are very basic. But I recommend testing yourself from Manan Shroff because you get to get into the habit of uh, practicing at least number one, and then. Number two, it's a little harder than the questions you see on the exam. So it's always a good idea to get to know the harder side before you get to see this, uh, the easy side. I want you to be prepared for the hard and when you end up seeing rather simple questions on the actual exam, that will be a bonus, right? So have some free resources and other videos made on this channel uh, for the FPG exam. Feel free to check them out over here. Anybody who's preparing for the FPG exam 2025, please don't forget to click the link in the description box down below. I will be taking a very limited amount of students because that's what I can handle at the moment. And uh, as soon as the enrollment opens, you will be notified. Thank you so much if this video provided you any value please don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to my channel also follow me on instagram that's mednerdygram dm me any questions that you have there's this where i'm most active on and i'll see you again soon thank you